Awesome. Welcome, everybody, to our weekly Soul Changes Lives webinar. I am your host, Debbie Perez Cockburn. I love being with you every week, and I love soul. I am not a doctor. I don't pretend to be a doctor. I don't see patients. I don't treat disease. I am simply a health enthusiast who loves to share her information with everyone around who will listen. And um, this week, we are talking about a brand new product that was launched almost three weeks ago. It's called Longevity. Um, this is Soul's brand new baby. It is part of our balance line. As you can tell, it's got the green uh, label around it. So it's part of our balancing products. Longevity is a product that for me is really fascinating. It's pretty complicated. There's a lot of ingredients to it um, that are, that are um, wonderful ingredients because they really do enhance everything that the, that, the, that the product does. And so it's, to me, um, something that should never uh, be out of reach for anyone. And I just wanted to share a testimonial with you today. I have a very dear friend. She lives around the corner. I met her two years ago when I moved into this neighborhood. And she is a health enthusiast. And so we started to talk about soul one day. And she told me about a couple of her issues. And I recommended Soul, and now she is a Soul specialist on our team. Well, when we started talking about Soul, she was telling me about her son, who at the time was uh, close to being four years old, or maybe just turned four. He had been um, uh, clinically diagnosed as uh, a child with a higher form of autism. And so she had him in a special ed uh, program, and I suggested a program to her. Well, yesterday she came by to visit in the morning and because of COVID, and even though we live around the corner, we really haven't spoken face to face, but she needed some extra product and I happened to have it. So she came over and she said, you know, I have to tell you about my boy. And I said, what's up with him? She goes, you will not believe this, but his pediatrician recently declared him no longer being afflicted with autism. And she said, I owe that to soul. And so we started talking about his condition and I don't wanna get emotional because yesterday I pretty much broke down. Um, this child looks amazing. His IQ is like off the charts, which I think is very, very common with most autistic children. Um, but the, the um, amount of progress he has made in two years of using the product is really quite amazing to the point where the ISD where we live in recently kicked him off the special ed program because he's not autistic anymore. And um, she took him to his pediatrician who is an integrative pediatrician. So she uses alternative therapies as well as medical if she has to. Um, and she actually did some blood work on him and his little sister and, and found that like most autistic children, they have a genetic mutation which doesn't allow them to absorb glutathione. And so she, she recommended that they get some glutathione. So I said, I'm not gonna have her go buy some glutathione. I called one of my friends at Seoul, uh, Valerie Bledsoe. And I said, Valerie, I'm considering adding longevity and maybe some more infatuate or something to this child's program. And she goes, oh my gosh, Debbie, I love this so much. I love what you have done with him. I love his results. Yes, yes, yes add longevity. And if the child doesn't take soul vital, have them take soul vital. So when I called my friend Maria, I said, Maria, this is what Valerie says. She goes, oh, that's easy fix. She goes, I just got some longevity from you. So I will try. I will just start adding it right now. And my two babies, because she has um, a one-year-old who she will in, in May, um, she goes, they already take vital. And so, and they love it. And I was just shocked. And the thing that I love about this baby is he was born because she was suffering from infertility and went through the fertility um, process with her doctor. Um, Maya, her little baby, happened naturally after she got on soul. And so she said, my family just loves Neuro IM, Debbie. My family loves Soul Complete. Um, her little son takes the Soul Complete, the Neuro IM, the Verdesimes, the probiotic. He uses the essential oils. He uses all of these products. And when I started to sob was when she said, and Debbie, 
the doctor just threw her hands in the air and just said, I am so impressed with your products that you're giving him. And I would just recommend this. And I say, you know, like, like the other specialist, he is no longer autistic. And I had never heard that before, you know, have a child be undeclared autistic. And I just, I cried. I just thought that was amazing. And I really wanted to share that testimonial with you today. And as I said in the introduction, today we're gonna to be talking about that wonderful product longevity. Longevity is a brand new product. I don't think it should be pigeonholed. It certainly by itself uh, with the reindeer lichen, it could have been a wonderful plant-based source of vitamin D3, which we know helps the body to make all of these wonderful antioxidants and, and have the body um, function properly. But in soul's wisdom and to their credit and to keep in line with their philosophy, they've added not just adaptogens, but some amazing uh, additional ingredients that I think make an amazing product a magnificent product. So please forgive me because I really feel like I'm gonna cry. Longevity has changed my life personally. I love what soul is doing with so many people. And here to tell us about some of the special ingredients in longevity is our friend. Um, he is the president, CEO, and one of the founders of Soul Naturals, Mr. Greg Halliday. Greg, the time is yours. Thank you, Deb, and thanks for sharing those testimonials. I just, uh, I'm like you, I just get really happy when I hear, especially when, well, really at any age, when someone's life can be changed to that degree. Uh, it just makes me happy. <clears throat> And I, I, I do want to say that there, we had a few objectives for longevity, but as we began building the formula, we did expand them um, based on the research that we see. And also, I think the, what the desire to um, bolster several key objectives that we see as weaknesses in our society based on lifestyle and nutrition and what commonly people have to go through. Um, we, D3 is tied to so much of that, that we, that we didn't wanna just say, well, here's a good D3. So I appreciate that you said, you know, this, I hope we look at this more than just a plant source of D3, because it really is that. It's just that the D3 is a big hole, a big gaping hole and not just getting it, but also the ability to process it. I mean, Dr. Allison talked about that. It's not nearly as, as effective as most people feel like, oh, I just get out in the sun and I'm good. There's a lot of variation between people. And that, that makes sense because, that, because it's, <laughs> that's the way all nutrition is. We have, unique, we have strengths and weaknesses in the way we process things. I don't remember, just jumping ahead now for a second, could maybe... Um, and it's great seeing you all here today. Could you maybe maybe help me understand how much have we talked about longevity? Have we gone through, and Deb as well? Because I don't want to go over stuff that I have gone over before. But well, we went over a general um, list of everything included. But I really wanted you to focus in on maybe two or three ingredients today that you feel yeah. are ex you know just yeah. like for me. I, I love the, that, that you have the, um, it, it's important to me that the plantain leaf is in there, the goji and the goduchi, obviously. But, yeah, so Debbie, but what I'm asking is how much of the slides did we do? Did we just kind of talk about the info sheet? Did I go through a, a bunch of slides from the launch? Have we, we went done through a here? bunch of slides, yeah. Okay, good, that helps me because I don't want to go through all that, but I'll, I'll do what Debbie's asking, uh, but not feel like I have to do cover all those slides. Yeah, That's what I, I think sure. yesterday you covered a few, uh, most of the slides that Blake had presented and one or two of yeah. Val's. And I'd love for you to do that again for us today. Okay. Because okay. I, you know, for a lot of people, I think they, um, when we think of plantain leaf, we think of bone knitting and bone healing. Um, we think of, you know, goji berries as a super fruit, but what, why goji berry together with um, the reindeer lichen, why Why did you, what, I, I know you wanted to expand it and I know there is there is a very deep science. And like you said, um, most people are, are vitamin D deficient and that leads to 
fatty liver and all of these other things. And so this product, I think together with um, the Solmegas and Infatuate would work perfectly well. Yeah, um, there really is more and more being learned all the time about the interrelationship or the, the interconnectivity interconnect of vitamin D3 levels and other key nutrients too. And I, don't, I wouldn't just say D3, we're just focusing on it because we're so happy to get a really plentiful plant sourced source of, uh, supply of this. Um, that's, that's just because we know, I know what that means as we've transferred over to that with a number of things. And so I'll give you some examples. Our enzymes versus animal sourced enzymes, our omegas, so omegas versus the typical fish-based or marine, marine-based omegas, marine animal-based, um, people can generally use between a third or a fourth of the quantities that they used to use when it's a plant source. Uh, it, it, it's not going to be the case in every single case, but that's very common and is, is really predominantly what we hear. And so D3 people have way underestimated how much we need. The levels that have been published by government and other, there are certain levels. That we noticed, Blake reminded us that I believe they were doubled just this past year, the recommended daily. And I, and already people that really are sort of in that science are saying, yeah, we, we still think we're way low. And I think that makes sense because you, you, it's relative to what we're living in. You know, all these levels, I look at it this way, and this is one of the main answers to the question, Debbie's question, why did we add all this other stuff to the, to the reindeer lichen in D3? And so I wanna to try to answer that because it's actually to me, the basis of everything we do at Seoul, <laughs> and, and that's why we added this. But let me just give you a couple of quick review facts about these ingredients. First, the goji berry. So goji is lyceum, right? It's an adaptogen. It's an incredibly nutritious fruit. Lots of studies, lots of different uses. And we actually have two forms of it in this formula. We've got the powder, and then we've also got another extract of the same fruit concentrated with the group of polysaccharides that are responsible for many of its most, uh, let's say known adaptogenic qualities. So it's a very good concentrate mixed with the whole fruit powder together. Why did we do this? Well, it's the third point on the slide. Communication at the cellular level, and of course the adaptogenic benefits but I'd like to focus on the cellular communication, that things are all interrelated, we believe in health. And when the body is able to, when everything's function, it's balanced, then all those processes that are shared, and we learn more and more about how it's really tough to isolate and we love to isolate things, but really it's tough to do that. The better that we can generally put the body's production of energy and the body's ability to detox in a more balanced state, all things improve, all, all health challenges improve. So that's, that's where adaptogens come in because they work right there. And these particular polysaccharides in Lyceum are among the best, but not just the polysaccharides. And that's why we added the fruit powder. It's also really, really nutritious, full of many vitamins and minerals and nutrients, known beneficial plant compounds. Now, the second thing we added to the second adaptogen is Gaduchi, Tinospora cordifolia. And we talked about that, but today I'm just gonna mention the last point on the slide. Why? Well, I'll tell you what we were thinking. Cellular repair and re rejuvenation. Back to this cellular connectivity, messaging in between cells. I don't know how you can, you can repair, a body can heal and repair if that doesn't happen. And so that those, there, those are two more reasons. So think of D3 now. We talked about it in the launch, right? In terms of how it changes our, our emotions, our mood, our head, our thinking, our brain. Okay, that's one real big area of study with D3. Think of D3 and how it changes our response to threats. So our immune response, lots of studies on that. And then thirdly, think of D3, how it, how it plays a role 
in this thing that I'm referring to now, which is our body is always trying to repair and rebuild itself. And it can only use what we give it, right? It can only use the nutrition we give it. And it only can do it if it has a chance. If it's fighting to just cope, stress levels are so high and it, it then it's not gonna be able to repair as well. This is my it, uh, we, it's, I should be saying we and not it. Cause it isn't an it, it's, it's us, right? It's we. So that is why we added these other areas because they're all interconnected. And even though we focus on a couple of things in particular because they're highlighted out there, there are lots of studies, people can see them. It validates this nutrition. Our hope is that people will see that and start using it in their life. But we're looking at something deeper. We're just looking at something deeper here in this product. And Debbie's, that's what Debbie referenced. Since we're looking at something more, we wanted to give a lot more raw materials to the body in the very formula, okay? So if, if we're trying to use adaptogens to manage the stress and to give plant compounds that push the energy on either side of imbalance, overactive or underactive, right? Either side, think of no Paul cactus. If blood sugar is too high, it brings it down. If blood sugar is too low, it has other compounds in Nopal that, that raise blood sugar. It has them both. Mary Fernandez, Dr. Mary Fernandez showed that. So that's the way all adaptogens are in their qualities. So if we're trying to balance, strengthen our body's immune response, strengthen its ability to manage stress better, we also want to um, add lots of minerals, lots of vitamins, lots of building blocks, because what we're hoping is that the body through this formula can better find the ability to remake itself and re restore itself and rebalance itself and rejuvenate. So whether our imbalance is like Debbie was saying with this young friend, you know, who's, who's it's showing through an, through autistic behavior, whatever it is, you know, we know the body does seek to try to find a balance. If it can, if it has a chance, can to me is, you know, some kind of a state of rest where it can, where it can work. So, so yeah, plantain and alfalfa are loaded. They're loaded with vitamins and minerals, actually super high in selenium. That one somewhat surprised us when we took the formula to the lab and got some lab results. We already, we already knew it was gonna be really high in potassium and magnesium and um, uh, relatively high in calcium. I mean, we have lots of plants, lots of formulas that have quite a bit of calcium in them, but you can't think of it like, like these big calcium tablets where they're trying to give you really high milligrams. You have to think of it as, plant stored calcium that the body uses much more readily. And also uh, think of it as the cofactors like K2 that, that we have to have. K2, um, that's part of the probiotic, the Freudenreichii, the PF, probiotic that's in ProBioIQ and we also added it to this formula. It's, it's there for several reasons, some, some immune reasons, but the main reason in terms of this topic that I'm discussing today and the body restoring the restorative qualities of this formula is because it, it, to our knowledge, probiotics are the only source of K2. They, it has to be fabricated by them. And we know of two strains that at least to this point are, are generally viewed as the best producers of vitamin K2. And guess which one, one of those two is? Propionin bacterium Freud and Reichia, which is in this formula. That's one of the two best sources so far known, known to science, producing K2. And so when you think about rebuilding and structurally how important it is at every level, you know, bones healthier, healthier blood, um, cells communicate better, and uh, plenty of good fats, et cetera, et cetera, healthier cell walls. So all these things are, are the reasons we added these other ingredients. There's a little bit of the K2. So what I wanted to jump to, sorry for jumping, because we're going to we're going to come back, okay? But I want to jump. Hang on, just I want to jump to Valerie. So I'm going to jump over Allison for just a second here, because she talked about mood, and I think we covered this already, right? But I want to draw your attention to this final slide of hers. Final bullet point: our our understanding of K2 is about 20 years behind that of D3. Why did she put that in here? Because they think it's just as key. It might be just as central to, to so many processes as D3. 
three and think about all the changes to people's gut health, which is going to directly affect K2, um, bad, like uh, in a bad way, too much acidity, uh, just a bad internal environment for the gut and all the problems we have, that's going to directly affect K2. So here's what I wanted to show you. Okay, and I, I got to jump over, I got to get to Valerie's. Sorry, did I leave? We left hers for last. And you know what? You just skip while you find your slide. You, you want the plantain? Uh, no, no. Yeah, that's great. You skipped over one that showed about um, helping the body eliminate toxicity. One of the things that um, the, the, genetic, uh, the genetic problem that my young friend has is that his body does not properly detox. Yeah. And that's what made me think about adding the, uh, the longevity to his program because yeah. Um, not only is it high in selenium, vitamin C, uh, B12, as we just saw, helps the body produce vitamin K, all of these enhance and boost how glutathione is made in the body. And so, yeah, that's what, I mean, I, I we'll come back to that, Deb. Let's come back to that because I wanted to get there. Yeah, go ahead. Let's come back to the detox because I want to end on that today. Okay. But I want to finish this point of rebuilding because, um, well, they're both related, right? You can't really rebuild if you're not detoxing, right? There's that chicken and egg thing. Um, but I thought I'd at least show you this because Debbie mentioned plantain. It was a, it was a no brainer it, because it, it, there's a slide on plantain in every one of these three areas. This one in particular was focusing on immune benefits. Um, and it has a lot more than people think in terms of immune of, um, enhancing properties. It's I've always kind of grown up thinking, I don't know, but I, I was somewhat limited, I guess. Plantain's just a super, super mineral. Uh, you know, I, I didn't see it so much as um, liver protecting as it is. Okay, so I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump and I just wanna show you this one slide. This is the one. Uh, th it's just the one that reminds me, Valerie, Valerie put, uh, included this in her presentation. So she talked about rebuilding bones, right? But it's, it's not just bones, it's everything. And her point that, that sunk deeply that I don't want to forget when we think about longevity is the body is always trying to remodel. That's its natural, its natural balance is to operate it at, um, in a balanced way. I, I was going to say full capacity, but that's relative, but just in a, in, a, in, a, in a successful way, okay? To me, that means having energy to do what we want to do in the day and being able to rest at night, uh, being able to adapt to what comes our way, not, not sending ourselves too far from one extreme to another. And to do this, the body needs to be able, like Debbie says, detox, but also needs to be able to um, have a constant supply of good raw material as it regenerates itself over time. And all, we've talked about that a lot, right? So everything regenerates. And this, this stage of life picture is, is a great one to me because it taught me a lesson that I, I hope I don't forget. Sometimes what we think of, okay, when we're little, when a mother is expecting, super important to get the right nutrition so the baby has what it needs to grow, develop. And when children are growing throughout their growth years, we got to make sure. And then we think that once we get essentially our growth, we're kind of there for a while. And then maybe when we get, you know, I'm talking about society in general, then maybe when we get to where we're hunching over a little, we got to bolster some things. And now I know none of you, none of you look at it this way because this is the field you, you're in and this is how you help people. But I think in society, there's still way too much of this. And the truth is that there is not a, a phase of life ever where the body doesn't, isn't rebuilding things. And we're either, we're either, you know, keeping ourselves in a good place or we're weakening. And, and structurally weakening is a, a, an evidence of other perhaps even more important weaknesses. So that's what I wanted to say with this. Um, and I'm, I wanna come back to end, end with Debbie's point. Um, so, so these ingredients are a bunch of, of very prime premium raw materials. That's what we did with, with the nature of the substance we got in the goji berry and in the gaduchi. Um, you know, there's gaduchi is a major head, is a major 
cerebral fixer. And, and it's not just, it's not known as much for that as I think it should be. Um, there's some really interesting studies with that and, um, and immune studies that, that really caught our eye. But I, it also is strong in detox. And so if I can, I want to go back to the one Debbie saw. Okay. Go back one, uh, a couple more. I'll stop you when I see it. There. Okay, okay. so this is immune. Um, this is from, this is from Lydia's, you know. From Lydia's, she, and it might be back one or two. I think it is, because she's just saying, look, whenever you have immune issues, one or all, all four of these things are going on. One mm -hmm. or all four, okay. And yeah, com it's, a, it's common sense, really common sense, this, this wisdom that she, that she shared with us. Um, yeah. So hang on a second. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah, I think this one's Dr. Allison's um, presentation. Anyway, I, I, I think that what you mentioned um, when the body has exactly what it needs and there's so much raw material in here that will um, just help so many parts of the body. I mean, when you think about what it can do for the liver, what it can do for the um, digestive system. This was part of it, Deb. It's this. Yes. Um, th these were, I think you were thinking of some of the purifying detoxing functions, what yes. are involved in those in the body and several of them. This is the Gaduchi. It's this, it's this little star from Ayurveda. This not very famous on the, in the other part of the world, not famous at all here, that, that we um, began studying here a couple of years ago, that is a much bigger player than I think than we realize in terms of what Debbie's saying here. Um, because it does, it, it does enhance some of the body's detoxing and excreting um, processes that already happen. And you can see it right here on this, this slide. Um, but it's not the only thing that does that, but it's, it was why we added this one, okay? I think Guducci is such a star, really, and not a lot of people know about it. Um, I love that you've included it. I know that Dr. Allison had a huge hand in, in, in having this be included as part of the formula, um, but I think you've really covered exactly what I wanted you to do today. Um, and I, I love it. I, I love this product so very much. I don't get tired of saying how much I love soul, but this product has truly opened my eyes to a lot of things that can be possible. I know for me personally, I've been using it for about two and a half weeks since it arrived in my home. I take between three and four capsules a day. I take it um, when I take my, um, in the morning, I take it with my soul megas in the, in the, later in the afternoon, I take it with my infatuate and my avant greens. Cause that's when I, that's what I like to do in the afternoon. Um, and I have noticed in my personal self and Greg, you know, how I've been walking for years, um, and have had immense, uh, support through changing my diet and adding soul naturals, right? That has really helped. But as of the last year and a half, it just seemed like I, I may have been going even backwards a little bit. Well, I want to say that since I've been taking the longevity, I don't feel as much pain in my joints right now. And what's amazing is, is that if you know anyone with arthritis, it's not just the pain in the joints, it's the soreness that, that surrounds that tissue around that joint that's hurting. And that's that lactic acid buildup. And I have noticed that I don't have any of that burning in my muscles around those joints, especially in my knees. Um, I'm really excited because I have developed a little blister on the side of my curved um, finger. It's the, only, it's the only finger that's been affected by the arthritis that actually start to curve. And I've developed a blister on it. And I'm so tempted to just lance it myself. <laughs> it almost feels like there's stuff just wanting to leave my body. And, and that's amazing. So, I mean, when you talk about the detox factor and all of the um, joint support, as well as the, 
the, the, the mood enhancing, you know, we went through snowmageddon or snowpocalypse, whatever you want to call it here in Texas. And all I could do, I mean, and under any other circumstances, I probably would have cried a little bit, not having um, hot water for a few days or not having any water pressure and having no electricity probably would have stressed me a little bit. My husband will attest to it. He just thought I was a different person. He was just like, I don't get it. Why are you just laughing? Why are you smiling so much? <laughs> We have no power. There's just nothing here. You can see your breath in the house. But I, I, the only thing I've changed, the only thing I've done recently is add longevity. And I can't stress enough, Greg, how happy I am and how happy it makes me feel. So thanks from me personally and from anybody else who's using it and loves it. Um, I thank you for your time every week. What you did today was really amazing and expressing all of those ideas that everyone talked about that night and doing it in 20 minutes. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for inviting me. It's awesome seeing everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Me too. You have a fan club, Greg. You have a huge fan club. We can't wait to see you at convention. That's oh, what wait, I thought I was your fan club. You're reversing it. Nah, we are your cheerleaders. We're your fan club. Oh, that's right. I hope everyone can make it down to Florida for in August. Yeah, yeah that will be what we were talking about before you got on. So we're, we're excited to go to convention. We talked about celebrate teams. We hope you'll bring that up in our um, inside soul a little more and uh, talk about those things because our, our team is getting excited. Right, ladies? We're excited to go to Orlando and um, I am I am fighting with Southwest right now. They want me to change my ticket to Cancun to go to Cancun another day. I just want to change well, it to go to go to Destin, Florida. So well you could you could change it and just use it for next, yeah. next month and then just get a different one. All yeah. right. Well, thanks so well, much, Greg. Appreciate see you it. all. See you a little bit later. Thanks. Uh -huh. Bye. All right, bye everybody. Bye. So we'll just bye. go ahead and and uh, close here. And um, thank you all for your attendance today. I just love you so much, and I'm excited to see you. And once you get registered, please, please, please let me know what size T-shirt you like, uh, because I am making some custom shirts for our group. So, <laughs> so make sure that you include whoever is part of your celebrate team. If you're bringing your spouse. Let me know what size t-shirt. It will be a nice t-shirt, something that the men won't be embarrassed to wear. <laughs> but for those of you who know, my business name is Soul Mio. And it's kind of a play on words because if you know me, you know that I sing. And so it was kind of an O oh, Soul e Mio. It was an ode to O oh, Soul e Mio. It's a song that Greg loves to sing. And that's what we called my business. Um, but um, I, I, I'm thinking of doing something like we are Sol Mio or Somos Sol Mio or whatever, so, something like that, but it will say Sol Mio on there so that you know that that's uh, my business name and that's, uh, uh, that's a way to identify us as part of, as part of the Debbie team. <laughs> so let me know when you've registered. I am just dying to see you and hug you all, seriously. Gwen gets all of my hugs because she lives the closest to me, so she gets them often. Um, Lonnie, you're so funny. I love you. I love you. <laughs> um, um, at 61, I'll take cute. <laughs> Anytime someone says you're so cute at 61, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, but I just love you guys. And I cannot wait to hug you all. Jody, I'm so happy that you're with us. Juanita as well. Um, I just love to see everybody just coming together, joining together. And, um, and I, I can't wait to see you. So if you want your t-shirts, send me your size. And I am just ready, ready, ready to see you, okay? And I will see you on Monday. And we're going to start talking about how to use our business system with our brochure, which I always have right here next to me. So if you want to learn how to use the, the four-month to, to better health, make sure that you send me a quick message this weekend. Because if I don't have your email address, I have no way to send you the manual that we will need to discuss, okay? So I love you all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for a sharing soul as much as you do. These are the last few days of the month. Uh, Sunday does count as day of the month, but if you need customer service support, I remind you to please call before Friday. Saturday morning will be 
just so busy for those um, customer service reps. So if you need anything, let me help you, or at least, you know, if it's something that has to be done with the office, make sure you get that done before Friday, okay? Love you guys. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.